the way. Oh. Oh, these knees are too knobbly. Shut the door on me. Nearly, nearly, nearly. Put it on your fancy stand. You got it? Mm. Oh, you need to let go of it. Well, I'll <laughs> move your light though. <laughs> G'day, welcome back. So, be making good progress with the engine. Uh, most of that's just cleaning for the time being, so need to crack on with the bodywork. So, as you can see, car's down here at the workshop now. Uh, Mrs. Badger has already helped me take the, the boot lid off, that's over here. Uh, next step, we're going to take doors and bonnet and interior out, strip this thing out, get down to the bare shell so we can start preparing the paint, filling any holes, doing all that, all that kind of stuff. Uh, so yeah, we're going to hook into it. Um, going to be a lot of repetition. We'll show you the kind of main bits, uh, but mostly it's just nuts and bolts. And um, this is how it goes. Right, so we'll start with the doors. Now we're up in the air. Uh, it's a nice, nice working height. Plenty of room to get in and in and around. It's nice and solid. Pop the doors open. There's not much that holds these doors on. So the doors have a couple of Phillips head screws for the um, check strap and four four bolts that actually hold it on. So really not much at all. It's just like a big Meccano set.
Open up the phone.
that's the dirt we shed from just one wing. These Tool Pro extractor sockets have come in really handy. There's quite a few of them. Well, a couple of bolts that have been pretty rounded or munted. And uh, these things, they just grip on. Rip them straight out. So yeah, 100% success with these so far. Uh, but hopefully you don't need to use them too much. We'll be getting all new hardware and bits because I uh, make it all nice and shiny. This wing looks surprisingly solid. Well, not surprisingly, the whole car's pretty solid. A few bits of rust, but it should all, it's all solid metal, so it should tidy up quite nicely. This part of the body is all pretty, pretty mucky. But everything seems quite solid. Uh, so yeah, so so far we've got the boot, the rear wing, doors, seats, and uh, next we'll do that front wing. Um, yeah, getting there slowly. This is about the first spot of kind of rot I've found so far, so that kind of sill, that whatever panel that is, needs a bit of work. Uh, not too bad though, the rest of the panel's solid, so we can just do a fix the corners there, get rid of that bog, it's a quality job that. Uh, some mesh over there, so I'll take these last couple of panels off and uh, come back to you.
That's one panel I'll probably just replace. I think these are pretty cheap enough, it's just um folded steel. Just wanted to come in close just to show you the quality of this repair here. We got this metal barely touches metal and some nice kind of mesh there and that bit of metal bogged through the mesh onto this bottom part of the chassis there. And of course a holy moly over here and that you'd never know this has been bogged. All panels are available, shouldn't be too hard to sort this out. So we're missing the old section on there. Yeah, a bit more rust than I... you'd think looking at the outside. So that's how it went. We've got the panels off one side of the car and half the interior out. All went pretty smoothly really. Had to use the stud extractors and the angle grinder here and there, but no big deal. Uh, the tools work really well. Um, as you see we've got this spot of rust down in this kind of sh corner of the chassis there. Uh, no big deal, all the pa panels are available so we can uh, get that fixed up nice and easily. I just need to figure out how to weld but yeah we'll cross that bridge shortly. Um, so I'll go and take the panels off the other side of the car, I'll take the bumpers and bits off and we'll come back and have a good inspection see if there's any more little surprises like this one. 
Next video you'll see it will be taking out the uh, windscreen and the back window. Not look, looking forward to that really. I've got the um, I've got a windscreen removal tool, uh, so we got the right tools. Just don't really have the uh, knowledge to do it, but yeah, we'll figure it out. Um, I don't think it's overly difficult, but a uh, high chance I'll break them both. So there we go. So yeah, comment, like, subscribe, or we'll see you back fairly soon. I think for the uh, windscreen video, I'll try and get that done in the next week or so, and uh, I'll get the rest of the panels off, have the inspection, and we'll go from there. So there we go. Cheers.